I say I think that marrying who you want to is a right that no man should have anything to do with. It's a God-given right, I think. Mildred Loving married the boy next door, Richard Loving. Richard Loving is a construction worker, Mildred Loving the daughter of a sharecropper. They were born and raised in Caroline County, Virginia, where white and colored people seem unaware of the racial prejudice that exists in much of the country. The Lovings didn't know that it was a crime for a white person to marry a Negro in Virginia. They found out the hard way. But I didn't realize how bad it was until we got married. Full of love themselves, they didn't expect to find hate in others. Their home swarms with children, their own three, as well as neighborhood friends, who enjoy the warmth here. Mrs. Loving recalls how the ordeal began one night in 1958. The, the night we were arrested? Mm -hmm. um, I guess it was about 2 a.m. And I saw this light, you know, and I woke up and there was the policeman standing beside the bed. <laughs> and he told us to get up, that we was under arrest. And anyway, they carried us to Bowling Green and uh, locked us up in January. They had the trial, and they uh, told us to leave the state for 25 years. But the way I understood it, the lawyer said that we could come back to visit, you know, when we wanted to. Mm -hmm. So that Easter, we came back, and they got us again. We had been down a few times before that, but that Easter, we came down, they found that we were down. They arrested us again. The Loving spent five years in a Negro ghetto in Washington, D.C., where they suffered the indignities of unemployment, loneliness, and uncertainty. When one of the children, unused to city streets, was hit by a car, Mrs. Loving decided to act. She wrote a letter to the then Attorney General of the United States, Robert Kennedy, who in turn passed the letter on to a Virginia lawyer, Bernard Cohen, a member of the Civil Liberties Union. We have three children and cannot afford an attorney. We wrote to the Attorney General. He suggested that we get in touch with you for advice. Please help us if you can. Hope to hear from you real soon. Yours truly, Mr. and Mrs. Richard Loving. And it was that simple letter that got us into this not-so-simple case. Bernard Cohen could and did help the Lovings. He teamed up with another attorney, Phil Hirschkopf, and at no fee they reopened the Loving case in the Virginia courts, appealing each losing decision until at last the United States Supreme Court heard these arguments. Arguing protection. We advance the argument that these statutes are slavery statutes. They're meant to keep the Negro people in the badges and bonds of slavery. The outrageous civil effects of these statutes are not always apparent right away. For example, if Richard Loving were to die, then Mildred Loving would not be able to collect Social Security benefits as his widow. Uh, what is fundamentally important, though, is we ask the court to decide that a state may not pay, pass a law which proscribes marriage between two consenting, competent adults based on race alone. The attorneys for the state of Virginia refused to talk with ABC. Bernard Cohen described their arguments. They seem to say that there was a present-day justification for these laws, that is, that uh, uh, they're interested in the welfare of the children of such marriages. Today, the United States Supreme Court handed down a decision the Loving's ordeal is at last over. Richard and Mildred Loving have won the right to be man and wife, father and mother in the state of Virginia. Anti-miscegenation laws have been declared illegal not only in Virginia, but in all 16 states that have held such statutes.